Hello everyone, it's your friend Goodbye, back to another video, and tonight we're going to be looking at the Dr. Wu's take on Grand Slam and Rain Dance. But before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought of the video, or what else would you like to see in a video. So on to the figures themselves. Here we have them in their okay attempts at cassettes. So, but not too bad, I guess. So let's look at Rain Dance first. Focus, thank you. Now, I did apply that Autobot symbol because uh, Show Z, I don't know if they're still doing it. I didn't get one in my last package. But they include stickers, uh, faction symbols. So, since our parties don't have the rights for them. So, not too bad of a cassette. And these will fit into your Kingdom Blaster repaints remolds. Along with the uh, Siege Soundwave repaints remolds. So... Not too bad. And then, of course, if you flip it around to the back, um, yeah, it's one of those things we don't talk about. So, on to Grand Slam. So, not too bad, I guess. It's a little worse for wear, honestly. Especially if you flip him around him. He just got... He looks like he's doing a... Yay! Woohoo! Go team! <laughs> so, but you get the nice yellow stripes. So, not too bad, I guess. For a real quick size comparison, on along with their G1 counterparts. So, ugh, stand, please. Thank you. So, not too bad, I guess. They're, they're about like a 15% bigger. I don't know. Or smaller, these guys, as I keep unaliving him. <laughs> oh, man. But I do like how they actually incorporated for him the... Uh, or, not off the side. These pieces, these bits and pieces. Hmm, okay, so not too bad. I do like how they actually incorporated into this. I do wish they were pinned, and I'll get back to that when I transform him. Which, speaking of transform, let's go ahead and focus on Rain Dance, getting him into his plane mode. So first things first, you want to take the side sections and kind of untab them. Go ahead and bring them down. Bring them down at this hinge as well. And it's okay if you accidentally straighten out that joint. Just make sure it's kind of a going in a weird Z. So it's like... Eh, eh, eh. So, yeah. Okay, so we'll go ahead and rotate this section around. 180. Flip back that white piece. Because it's going to go into that notch right in there. So go ahead and do that. Flip up that tail fin. Come under here. Flip around that, that fin. And you're pretty much good to go. Do the same thing for this side. Go ahead and according that all. Flip that up. Flip that around. Rotate 180. Bring this down. And on my copy, this one's the more stiff of the two. So. And if it gets like that, I recommend a spudger. Kind of straighten it out. So get that lined up. Come on. Oh, well, whatever. And just basically combine those, and you're almost there. So, take this section, pull it up, rotate it around 180, and there are two slots with two tabs that will go right into there. So, line that all up. And there you go. There you got the plane almost complete. To complete the look, he does come with two basically identical... Uh, these guns, which are done in nice uh, silver paint, so, and there is a, a hole with a peg, just go ahead and combine them, and two slots right up here, two tabs, and, com and just put them right there, and there you go, there you got the completed plane mode, so, set him off to the side real quick, right back there, and for the less fun of them all, so, for him, you will do want to uh, take these sections and untab them. I do recommend holding the gun and just pull it down, straighten it out, rotate 180 so the tread detail is facing is all lined up. Do the same thing for this side. Rotate, rotate, and all that. Just make sure these are split just enough so you can take this front section right here. Rotate it all the way up. Then rotate this down about 90 degrees. Next, bring up this section. And then bring it down. 
You also want to make sure it's kind of a uh, squared off in the back. There are a uh, tab or a slot right there with a tab, and those that that is what the arms will connect to. So go ahead and combine all that up for the next bit. You want to take this section, which is also done in that nice silver, and there is a slot right there for that T tab, and just slide that in, and there you go. There you got to them in their little vehicle modes. So not too bad of vehicle modes. So close up on that detail. Focus. Get the uh, nice black for the cockpit. Get some nice white for the wingtips. Other than that, that's pretty much all the paint you'll get on this one. So, yeah. And for him, get some nice tread details. Just paint it out. Yeah, the fists are kind of exposed, but um, it's tiny. I like to see someone else try and hide the fist at this scale. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, there is pretty much no articulation other than this turret can move up and down, and that's it. These can also rotate, but I don't recommend it. They're very annoying. So, yeah. Now, for a real quick size comparison, here we have Grand Slam and Rain Dance from G1. So, I guess not too bad of imitations. So, yeah. All right. Now, just like those two from G1, these guys can combine to form the infamous Grand or Grand Slam Dance. Golly, too many. Mm. Okay. Anyways, so let's start with the feet. So you want to go ahead and remove the guns and set those off to the side. Go ahead and flip down the tail fins and flip around the wings. Come here. For this section, go ahead and untab them, untab it, take the nose cone, flip it around, take the this section, flip it back around, back into its cassette configuration, then just straighten out the legs completely, rotate to where the knee is going to be oriented properly, take the foot, bring it down, then you want to flip in this section right here until it's even with the back of the foot. Rotate 180, take the actual foot and flip it out, which can be kind of difficult because it is a tiny, tiny piece. So go ahead and slide it forward on that joint. Make sure it stays straight. And there you go. Pretty much do the same thing for the other side. Rotate, get this up, get it up. I said up, you, up, thank you. And then wrote, flip out that section, 180, and there you go. It doesn't matter if this flops around, it will be secured later. So set that off back there. Then take him, pop off that section, set it off to the side. Next, untab the, what will be the arms and rotate them out. Oop, rotate out. Next, you want to flip this piece down all the way. Then flip up that, take the head, well, what this piece sits on, and rotate it back so the head is oriented properly. Rotate the arms around where it, it's like going to be in this configuration, so the tab is on the bottom. Oop, sorry, actually, the other way around. Bring that down, rotate that forward, and pretty much, there you go. So do the same thing for this side. I always get that confused. Oh, <sighs> Rotate the fist, not the forearm. And you can see why I wish that they pin these in. These fall out so easily. But that also brings me to my next, the next step. So rotate these around 180. That sometimes it does help, but just pop it off. They're on such shallow pegs, too. Like, come on. So there we go. All right. Bring in Rain Dance, and this will just kind of slide right in. Come on. Slide right in, and it will tab into place. It should tab into place. Don't tell me I have this upside down somehow. Okay. Come on. Slide that in. Then take this section, rotate it up, and push it in. And it will just kind of rest into place. And then raise up the camera because you can't see what I'm doing. Finally, take these two sections, split the gun, 
then this will go into the tabs right there. So just line that up, which, oh, right there. And then this one will also go right into that slot right in there too. Then you want to take this, bring it down to 90 degrees, and just fit it over whichever shoulder you see fit. I'm going to do it this one. And there you go. There you have Grand Slam. Nope, that's him. Uh, this guy into combined mode. <laughs> so it's fun. I like this little guy. It's pretty cute. So close up on that detail. Focus. Thank you. Get some nice, uh, I'm not sure what color that is for his mouth area. But you can know, get the yellow for the eyes. And that's pretty much all the detail we've seen. The fists are done in nice yellow, in nice white. So, yeah. You know it's late when I'm... I don't know my own colors, apparently. I wanted to call that yellow. That's not yellow. That is yellow. Yay. Anyways, for articulation, the head can do a left and right almost a full 360. If this wasn't in the way, it could. Arms can do a full 360 out all the way and then some you get bicep rotation 90 degrees of elbow bend the wrist do rotate nothing at the waist due to how he does everything but legs can go forward that far back that far can do the full splits you get above the knee rotation 90 degrees of knee bend and the feet are on ball joints so you can get all the way up not too much back little bit of ankle tilt and rotation so he's pretty well articulated unlike my words sometimes apparently so nope the only issue i will say i have is um he has no heel spur so he kind of wants to fall back but eh, whatever but for a real quick size comparison here we have his g1 counterpart and um yeah he gets he gets uh pretty big so yeah, I like how they do certain things. I, you know, the arms are better. I do like how they actually mimicked this. You know, the whole over-the-shoulder cannon. Oh, and they fixed that issue, thankfully. So, yeah. Overall, yeah, I say if you can find one of these, whether it be, you know, this version or the completely black version or even the more military-esque color scheme, Pick it up. These are fun little pocket toys. Yeah, they're they have issues, but I mean anything at this size really would that does what this does, in my opinion, would probably more than likely have some of these issues. Could some of them be avoided? Yes, like pinning these in or putting them on mushroom pegs or something where they don't fall off so easily. So but that's about it. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff, and stay tuned for more video reviews.